Uh, I'm gonna try to give you the quick version first before I go in depth. So you wanna download the reshade mod, you know which one you want. The first thing I would do is create a reshades folder in the same place where your Steam library and where your game is. So there's my Steam library. I made a reshades folder here. I've downloaded the reshade exe file, which is this one. I typed in reshade exe. Here it is. I'm going to link it. Then I'm clicking on that, clicking on download, download reshade, newest version, and put it into my reshades folder. I didn't activate it yet, not activate it yet. Then I downloaded the mod, which is manual download, put it into the folder, extracted it, and I get that any file. Good. Then you activate it. You pick the game, wherever it is, Obsidian, Remastered, Next, then DirectX, and then you're gonna get a different step here. You're gonna uncheck all boxes, check all, Next, and then you can finish this. Oh. Then, when it's finished, the exe file, you're gonna start up your game. You press either the home key on your American keyboard or the position one key on my German keyboard. And then you get that bar where you can activate your reshade, which is gonna look like that. I'm gonna remember throwing a screenshot or a video on top of this part so you know how it looks like. And yeah, let's go to the in depth version of this tutorial. Oh, welcome to this reshade tutorial for Oblivion, but it works for every game. I have a big folder with reshades, so if I want to reshade Bioshock 2, I have like 10 reshades that I can switch through and reshade in that game with, but Oblivion is new, it's exciting. I've already downloaded and played with this reshade, daylight reshade, you can see the picture comparison here. It makes everything blue and greenish and it looks way nicer. That's the tutorial for this reshade. I'm going to show you how to download this reshade. There are multiple versions, multiple ways to do it. And there's a second way, but this one is a little bit more complicated. You get a load PNG and with this reshade and the reshades are used, you get an ini file. So let's get this out of the way. Focus on this one. Okay, let's start. First, I'm gonna go to my Oblivion folder. I'm gonna exit. Get that. Thanks to the Steam page. I wanna show you where it is. Browse local files, manage, browse local files. Living Remastered, Binaries, Windows 64, and there you have the normal reshade any in it. So if you just want to download one reshade any file, one reshade mod, I would just put everything in here, the exe file, and the new reshade. So you can activate it and deactivate it thanks to this reshade any right here. That's on data E, and if you want to do it my way with multiple reshades, I would say make a reshade folder in your Steam library. On the hard drive where your Steam library is, then I made a reshade shaders folder, and I have like 10 to 15 different reshade files in there for like Silent Hill Stalker, and I can switch through reshade mods. So I would say create a folder here, new what nice folder and call it like reshades totally <laughs> oh, written wrong i wrote that wrong so i have a folder here and uh, i'm gonna dump my reshade mods and the exe file the exe file there's always a new version i had an old version of reshade 601 but it also did work with that so you don't need to update that all the times. Okay, I got my folder here now. Now I'm first gonna download the reshade exe. I'm gonna link that 
it's often linked through those websites if i go to files normally when i go to menu download yeah no nah, it doesn't show me here damn it <laughs> okay later later we gotta download that later first the reshade x uh, you can also get that if you just type in reshade mod but it's linked in my description there's the reshade website and you can download the reshade x here so you press download there's the newest version download reshade i got it already in my reshades folder here if you don't have that pc data e it's gotta be in the same goddamn folder net folder place where your steam library in the game is your game x reshades put that in here then you have it in here you could activate it immediately but i first gonna download the mod the reshade mod in this case it's the a reshade it's gonna give me a nice ini file sometimes you get seven zip files most of the times you get folders i'm gonna dump that into the reshades then this one we're gonna extract sometimes like i said you get seven zip files you need to open that with a seven zip mm, or winra program i'll extra here and extract it to here and then you get an any file so i can delete this and in here is my any file and that any file i need to find and activate so i can activate the reshade in the game but first we gotta run the x and then we can open the game which i've already activated it for oblivion like i said you can uh, reshade mod multiple games like bioshock okay now i need to find oblivion again there it is oblivion remastered next direct 10 11 12 that's what you need to click next and since i already have that installed i'm only gonna press update reshade only but you won't see that you will see something different i'm gonna cancel that and show you with a game i have not downloaded the reshade I have not activated that yet. Next. Ah, I've already have it here. Damn it. What kind of game does not have a reshade here? I believe I have it on everything. Soul Slinger. There you go. Next. Next. Okay, that's what you're gonna get. And then if you wanna use multiple ones, uncheck. And check all. So you can then use multiple reshade mods. Otherwise you can't do that. If you just want a single one, you're gonna go to browse because you're gonna get a reshade. Um, you're just gonna get that mod then to work. Data E, reshades, A Ladini, and then it just activates what you need for that reshade mod. But I would just go and check all, check all next. It's going to be activated as a preset anyways now. And then it's going to run through everything. Get it activated. You just got to wait that out. Then when it's finished, you just press finish. Then you can activate the game. Or, you know, play it. For, where is it? Most American keyboards. It's the home key on your keyboard. For me my german or austrian keyboard it's the position one key position one key is that key that's the key that i have for my keyboard so it's maybe a different keyboard if you have a different language okay i'm in the game you can do that in your main menu screen don't do that during loading screens don't activate the reshade mode during loading screens that might crash your game so you press the home key or the position one key and first the reshade is gonna load in so you don't get that immediately so you're just gonna wait till you get a screen like that 
for me I've already have that reshade activated here for you it's gonna look a little bit different because you're gonna be in your steam library steam library when you start and press position one you're gonna end up in this folder in oblivion remastered binaries windows 64 and then you need to back out on the folder symbol you get back to your data e slowly now i'm in data e it shows on top it's super small i'm sorry for that and then i can go down to my reshades folder there's reshades and there's the a light reshade and there i have the a light ini if I press that it's gonna load the reshade it's already activated that's why you don't see a difference I have my big reshades folder in here with multiple reshades like let's go for a crazy one the 3d ini file and there you can see it's <laughs> crazy it's crazy I love messing with that so I have multiple reshades to go through decay any it's all any files though for me and that's why I have a big folder the cave looks super good actually with this game damn and I have one file in there where I took away those effects and it's gonna be normal text in my that's how the game normally looks without reshades so I have one reshade file where I took away the reshade abilities abilities so those little boxes up click them which one can i mess with vibrance vibrance if i want to get rid of those effects i just de-click those boxes and it takes away a little bit of those color schemes and then i can click it again and it you know reintroduces that feature so if you want to get rid of the reshade you either de-click the boxes or you have a second any file that's gonna take everything away there's a wolf here yeah works with every game it should be super easy i hope that was understandable uh, i would just uh, download one of three any files and mess with that have fun with that see which one you like the most it's most of the mostly just over the top colorful but there are some good ones and i have way too many got them reshade files and some are just ugly and don't work like this one yeah yeah that's super blurry i don't know 